Hello guys, this video is about impact of lead times in demand planning. Consider this graph in front of you on the y axis we have demand on the x axis we have time or say period and this is the demand versus time curve so in this time I have this demand in time t2 I have this demand so on so forth now if there is a demand change there can be a demand drop or a demand increase then what is the impact of lead time I'll explain that the fundamental step for any demand planning is that your shortest planning horizon your shortest planning horizon should be equal to your longest lead time that is the fundamental for example if your longest lead time is say four weeks then your minimum planning horizon should be four weeks you can't plan for two weeks because if your lead time is four weeks your maximum component lead time is four weeks uh, let me give you an example in mobile phone industry typically the lead times of the chipsets may range from up to 10 weeks so I need to have a planning horizon of up to 10 weeks so for 10 weeks I should know what I'm going to produce because I need to order the materials accordingly now let's say in practicality how it happens let's say this black line is the your standard demand and now there is a customer upside you want to increase the demand note that your longest lead time component is this so your longest lead time is t4 right now you are getting a request for you're getting a request for increasing the demand plan in this time horizon right and this is your increase requested increase by the customer now since your longest lead time horizon is this and it is within this increases within this lead time horizon so you actually cannot increase the demand here right even if you increase you cannot support because you will not get this component uh, on time and even if you accept it you can't produce right it's very simple logic now let's go to the second case there is a demand drop within the lead time okay now customer is asking to drop the demand here in this time horizon now what happens since you are dropping the demand within the uh, lead time so this would be a liability for you because you have ordered the barcodes and PO has been placed and you cannot cancel the POs because it is within the lead time as a result you will be building liability with you this is this is this kind of thing mostly happens in the electronic industry mostly in the phone industry say you launch a product you have ordered the components but suddenly you see your demand drop and since uh, all the POs have been placed and demand drop happened within the lead time so you can't cancel it and as a result you build up liability now let's say the ideal scenario the demand changes the demand the demand increase the demand increase happens of outside the lead time right so of course this is very easy to accommodate you accept this basically you can meet this demand increase because you have enough time to order the components it is beyond the lead time of the component similarly if there is a demand drop you can easily accommodate the demand drop because it is beyond the longest lead time so I hope this concept is now clear for you basically uh, to be more agile uh, supply chain or to be more flexible to the customer demand the objective of the supply chain is to reduce the lead time if your longest lead time is reduced from here to say uh, from here to say uh, pen. say this if you have if you're able to reduce the lead time uh, to this then maybe yes you can uh, easily accept these upsides or you are more flexible to any downsides as well
so yes fundamental thing we should try to reduce our lead times as much as possible the lesser the lead time the more agile and flexible is your supply chain i hope you like this video thanks for watching